Hey, what's up back here, Ninja Kid fam? We are here today with a quick video of how to get your momentum swinging so you can jump from one obstacle to another super fast, super efficient. Let's get after it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the momentum going fast and efficiently. How do you swing from one obstacle to the other? Okay, so what we're gonna do, why do we wanna do this fast? Because the longer you hang, the longer your hands are going to wear out, your other muscles are going to wear out, mentally, physically, you're going to start wearing out. So we want to get from one obstacle to the next super fast. I'm going to walk you through how to do it and then give you some exercises you can work on. Okay, so the step number one is once you grab that bar, grab the ring or whatever it might be, is the kick, okay? So what you want to do is kick at a 45, okay? Here's flat. You're straight up, split that, go 45 degree angle, straight at an angle. So you'll kick. As you can see, I kept my feet together, I had my toes pointed, and kind of kick at a 45 degree angle, okay? And as you do that, you want to pull a little bit with your chest, with your arms, pull your chest in, okay? And that really helps propel your body forward. Show you again. Pull your feet back, and then when you're ready, kick forward. And see how I'm kind of pulling up on my arms there? You don't need to do a full pull up, just a little bit to kind of help propel that forward. So, kick your feet back, and then go for it. Okay? Step number two is on your back swing, pull your knees up. Okay? There's a few different methods you can use. I really like the method where you pull your feet up. If you have a different idea, let me know down in the comments below. I kind of want to know because there's a bunch of different ways you can do this. Okay? So as you're swinging, when you come back, you pull your feet up. That really drives you high. Right? That drives you backwards. Okay? So I'll show you here. Step one and step two together. So feet back. And then kick forward. Pull up. And bring your feet up. Okay? You see me bringing my feet up like that. It really drives me backwards. And then when you're at the peak of going backwards, you kick your feet back and kick again. Okay? So, kick out. Pull your knees up. Bring your feet back. And kick again. Okay? Show you one more time. Kind of in full motion here. I got my feet back. I'll kick. Pull, knees up, kick again, there we go, and by that second swing, you should have enough momentum to be able to jump to your next obstacle. If you go to a third swing, I think you're almost going to get a little too crazy there, but uh, sometimes you might need it, maybe mentally, to ready yourself, maybe you need that extra momentum to jump to that final wing nut on stage three of American Ninja Warrior, or stage two, sorry finals, but uh, that extra kick is maybe what you need, but really if you get two solid kicks in by that third swing, you should have enough momentum to do whatever you need to do. As you kick up, a lot of that's in your core, core strength, okay, and pull is a little bit of a pull up, right, but most of it's all in your core. So one of my favorite exercises for core most ninjas do this. Keep your legs together. Bring them up to the bar. Back down. I like to just tap my feet on the ground. That way it stops your momentum from swinging a lot. Especially at a, a room like this that moves. So, feet straight. Straight down. Tap. Do it again. Tap. Do it again. Tap. Okay? Maybe you can't do that with your legs straight. Bring up your knees as high as you can just like this. That's going to do the same kind of thing, working that core, okay? Another tip is you can work on this when you're built with uh, just a few steps to just kind of start that momentum going. So if, you, if you're on a bar that you can touch to, you can kind of jump and swing like this just to kind of help get you started, okay? That's a little bit easier, you know, maybe more realistic, like if you're running and jumping to the obstacle, right? You're going to have a little bit of momentum already. Kind of like that. So, anyway, 
I hope that helped you. Let me know down in the comments down below if that helped you. Let me know if you have any other tips. Go like and subscribe. See ya.